The success of your email marketing depends on a very few things. Reaching the right people with the right message at the right time. For that, you need to segment your contact database correctly. We've already shown you how to use lists, tags, and dynamic segments to segment your contact database. Now it's time for a more advanced segmentation method. We call it flexible segmentation. With this method, you can set up automated contact segmentation based on your contacts, user role, purchase activity, refund activity, course enrollment, course completion, memberships, and so much more. In this video, we'll show you how to segment contacts, WordPress user role, WooCommerce purchase activity, and Learn Dash course activity. WordPress user role based segmentation. WordPress user role based segmentation is just as it sounds. You can assign different tags based on different user roles. Let's say you're running a course where you allow multiple instructors. In that case, you might want to segment the instructors under a specific tag. For that, open your Fluent CRM dashboard and go to the settings. Then click General Settings. Now, enable role-based tag mapping under WordPress user role-based tag mapping. This option lets you add or remove tags from contacts whenever a user's role changes in WordPress. Select the tag accordingly. In this case, we'll add the instructor tag to instructors. You can also remove other tags from the tags to be removed tab. Easy, right? Let's see how this works for WooCommerce purchase activities. You can have thousands of products in your WooCommerce store. Now, when you have so many products, it's not easy to find contacts based on specific product purchases. Well, Fluent CRM can help. Let's say we have a product named High Heel Shoes and we want to set a specific tag for contacts who bought this product. For that, find High Heel Shoes and click Edit. Then from the Product Data section, click Fluent CRM. Now let's add High Heel Shoe Customers tag for those who purchase the product. Since this can be a basic lead, we'll also remove the tag once the purchase happens. So what happens when the customer wants refunds? You can also do the same when refund actions happen for the same product. If the buyer wants to return the item, you can remove the High Heel tag or even reapply the tag as desired. And there you go, an easy way to segment WooCommerce customers based on purchase activity. Lastly, let's see how this works for LearnDash courses. If you have both LearnDash and Fluent CRM, you can set up automated student segmentation based on course enrollments, course completion, and membership groups. To do so, navigate to LearnDash LMS from the dashboard's left sidebar. Select Course and go to Edit your LearnDash course. Now simply switch to the Settings tab. Then from Course Access Settings, select the tags you want to apply when course enrollments and course completions happen. You can also segment contacts by group activities. While you're editing a Learn Dash group, go to Settings. Under the Access mode, find the Fluent CRM tag settings. You can choose the Fluent CRM tags you want to apply on group enrollments. If you want, you can also enable or disable remove tags on group leave. That's all! Now you know how simple and easy segmentation can be. What's next? Start reaching out to the right people with the right message. In the next video, we'll show you how you can nurture your leads with email sequences. Till then, stay tuned to WP Managed Ninja.